Now in this video, I'm going to be showing some of the CAD viewing capability on the 3D Experience platform. And we're going to be doing that using this Product Explore app. So I've got both of them open here at the moment, but for just for illustrative purposes, I'm going to drag and drop from my favorite apps. And you'll see that it automatically opens up these two apps as they are linked to each other. One will show us the product structure and the other will show us a preview of the structure. Sorry, a preview of the CAD. So I'm just going to flip this to the screen, make things a bit bigger. And you can drag and drop items here from your native Katia, SolidWorks, um, or 3DX client. Or in this case, I'm going to drag and drop from, from the search. And this capability is available to everybody who has you know, basic access to the 3D Experience platform. So no need to trouble designers to send screenshots of CAD. They can just come in and have a look for themselves. So on the left here, we've got the full structure, as I mentioned, the top assembly node, as well as all the products below it. And on the right hand side here is a preview of that CAD. So you'll see that they're linked in the sense that whenever I click on an item on the left, it highlights it for me on the right hand side. So that's quite nice for matching up part numbers for what you expect to see in reality. You can also hide and show items here if there's a, a bit more of a complicated assembly. Looking more on the left hand side into the structure, there's various details such as the description of each of the items, who owns it, what is the maturity state, what software does it actually come from, as well as some positioning and revision items, revision of the items. Further to this, there's additional properties for each of them, similar to what you would normally get in a native client. As you can see here, we've got the official names, the creation date, last modification date, who owns it, which collaborative space does it come from. And along with this, there's a whole a lot more of uh, properties associated with each part. I'm just going to show you the Relation Explorer for now. And the Relation Explorer is quite useful for finding out where else this part might exist in another assembly. It also shows what children it has. If it had a drawing associated with it, this would also exist down here. If it had a change action associated with it, all of the, basically wherever this component is used on the platform, that would be indicated over here. So it gives you a good idea of where it might still be used. You can also see different MBOM relations, project relations, and various others. From here, you can also attach documentation that gets linked to the product or the assembly. Looking more at the right hand side is the viewer. As we said, it's full 3D capability. And there's also some tools here that we can use to further interrogate the CAD. I can measure different items on the CAD. And we can also do some sectioning. So we can have a closer look at some of the details of this. Rotate it around. Look from the other side etc. Some more capabilities, so I've just switched to another tab here. So this is just a different uh, assembly of another chair. And what I'd like to show here is that you can set up then whenever these items are saved from the your native client, that it automatically generates step files, 3D XMLs, so that People don't need to hassle any of the designers. So if I select this item here, you'll see here, so I'm in the der derived output section. And for this file here, I've got a step file and a 3DXML. So every time this object is saved in the native client, these two files are updated and regenerated and available to be downloaded. Another handy tool, which I've mentioned before is the 6W tags. 
And from here, there's some nice analytics that you can use. So I'm just going to show you in terms of our maturity state. So we've got three different states that are currently open or currently visible. And if I click on this colorize item here, it shows us which items here are in work. This seat is released, the frame is frozen, and the backrest is in work. So it's a nice quick way to in indicate what still needs to be released. And it also illustrates those colors over here.